Hello and greetings and salutations everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon, and today we're coming with you with our review for Grab the Bottle. Now moving on to the next page here, you'll see that we have the comment dimension icon up there, and we got a the brief description, uh, the read-off for you guys right here, which I'll start now. Developed and published by Kamiya Dimensions, Grab the Bottle is a puzzle game in which you solve puzzles by stretching your arm through the level. Grab the Bottle was released on May 22, 2017 on Steam for PC, Linux, and Mac. The retail price on Steam for Grab the Bottle is $6.99. And my recommended age for Grab the Bottle is all ages, but it might be a bit too difficult for younger gamers, inexperienced gamers, or gamers with not very fine motor skills. And it took me around, I think... Uh, eight hours to complete grab the bottle it could be like seven to eight yeah seven to eight hours to complete grab the bottle though I imagine if you're really good at puzzles games you could probably finish this as early as five or four hours but yeah uh, let's go ahead and move on category number one story now before I get going on about the story for grab the bottles I would like to give uh, kudos to uh, Kami Dimensions for being able to come up with a very unique game with a very unique story to this uh, the story for Grab the Bottles, you start off as uh, a young man, um, I think back in the 1950s, and you grow up uh, grabbing bottles uh, your whole entire life. So yeah, it goes through the whole entire lifespan of a man. It's really interesting and, and pretty fun when you think about it. So again, I would like to say kudos to uh, Coming Dimensions for coming up with a very unique and quirky and interesting game, especially with the story for this. And this ended up earning Grab the Bottle one and a half hearts, which is in category number one which is story. Category number two, which is controls. Now the controls for Grab the Bottle are very sensitive on both the PC, or using like the keyboard and mouse, or yeah, I guess just the keyboard in general, and on the controllers. This is kind of the downside uh, to Grab the Bottle for me is I had a really hard time with the controls because they are very, very sensitive to when you churn in it. And that's kind of just like one of the downsides to this game, but I believe they are working on that uh, coming of Dimensions, and we will hopefully see some progress on this uh, in the future. So yeah, uh, unfortunately, for Grab the Ball, they only get one heart in category number two, which is controls. Category number three, visual styles or graphics. Now, some people are being like, what? How did this game get two hearts? Um, I'm going to tell you my reason why I gave it two hearts is I feel like they did, uh, they were trying to go with a comic uh, 1950s kind of comic feel to that game and I think they did a very very good job at that uh, definitely catches what I think they're going for with their visual or graphic styles that they were wanting um, the only one things I could say that uh, visually weren't very appealing but sometimes the cutscenes but I think those were really cute anyway um, but yeah I really do believe that they got that really good uh, comic feel what they were going for in the game and they did a very good job with it so this ended up earning uh, grab the bottle two hearts and category number three, which is visual styles or graphic. Category number four, sound. Now, there's not a whole lot of sound in Grab the Bottle uh, when you play that. And the few sounds I do have in there are kind of repetitive. But I'm not really, you know, this was a hard category for me because I did enjoy this game. It didn't necessarily need a ton of sound to it. Um, but uh, the sound it did have was just very minimum. And it was still done, uh, production for the sound was done quite well. But yeah, guys, again, it was kind of, there wasn't a whole lot of sounds to the game, and the sounds they did were that you reused or recycle. So this ended up earning a Grab the Bottle uh, one heart in category number four, which is sound. Category number five, music. Now, the music and Grab the Bottle is extremely excellent. This is one of the categories I think they excelled really well at. I really enjoyed the music that they had in there. Um, they did reuse some of their music on some of their levels a couple times, but I think it was really good and overall uh, really hel uh, helped the atmosphere of the game and really fit in well. This ended up earning Grab the Bottle two hearts in category number five, which is music. Category number six, enjoyment. Now, when I was reviewing this game, um, it could have easily gone either way for me for being a single heart to one and a half hearts. I had to really think hard about this one, and I ended up choosing one and a half hearts. But like I said earlier, it could have easily gone to one heart for me. I really did enjoy this game quite a bit, but it definitely ended up being frustrating um, really frustrating uh, at times for me. Uh, the levels that had you chasing down uh, a creature or 
something that chase you had to chase down a bottle something usual was carrying that bottle those could be overly frustrating for me and in some of those i had some lag issues which i was pretty certain wasn't my computer performance but it could have been so i wasn't too sure on that it could have been the game having issues itself uh, and then again sometimes uh, i had other problems where i couldn't figure out how to complete the level even with the tutorial and tips leading into being a very frustrating situation sometimes but yeah I still really did enjoy this game quite a bit so this ended up earning it one and a half hearts in category number six which is enjoyment category number seven replay value unfortunately for grab the ball this is its weakest uh, category for me there's no real incentive to go back and play the game once you beat it, other than to beat your own scores uh, if you wish to do that, and that's pretty much it. There's no different storylines to it or any different incentives to go back and play it. So unfortunately, for Grab the Bottle, it gets a half a heart in category number 7, which is replay value. Category number 8, Bug Free. Now, with bug free here i kind of had to really think about it um i did encounter some potential bugs in the game but i couldn't determine if it was my computer or if it was the game that was having problems in the levels where you had to chase a bottle down um i was getting lag issues so this could have very well been a bug or it could have been some kind of performance issues on my part of the on my side on the computer since I couldn't determine if this was an ish, if this was a bug or not, this ended up earning uh, grab the bottle two hearts in category number eight, which is bug free because I encountered no other problems besides that. Category number nine tutorial slash informing. Now, grab the bottle has a pretty decent tutorial that teaches you pretty much everything you need to know, and they also have a little screen that shows you all the key key bindings for the game uh, as well. And they also have where you're, if you're struggling on some of the levels there, they have uh, a thing where you can churn on, it's called tips, that pretty much shows you the order that you have to do everything to complete the level. Um, but I still ran into, unfortunately, some uh, problems with beating some of the levels in there or interacting with some of the items. So yeah, this unfortunately ended up earning uh, Grab the Bottle one and a half hearts in category number nine, which is tutorial slash informing. Category number 10, difficulty. Now, the difficulty in Grab the Bottle is pretty tough at times, even with them giving the tutorials on how to beat some of the levels, and even with having the no punch, or there's a glove that you can equip that doesn't allow you to die in a level. I found out this game could be very extremely difficult, uh, definitely, uh, to beat certain levels, and I feel like some of the difficulty comes from the controls in the game as well. Um, from it being overly sensitive, uh, the controls I should state there. But yeah, um, a lot of time this game could be really fun, and it could be also could be very, very extremely difficult to beat on some of the levels. So this ended up earning grab the bottle one heart in category number ten, which is difficulty. So the final score for grab the bottle was fourteen hearts in total, landing it in that fourteen to eighteen heart range of excellent. I think a lot of people can have fun with Grab the Bottle. Might be a bit too difficult for younger gamers, inexperienced gamers, or gamers with not very fine motor skills. I do recommend you check it out if you like puzzle games or quirky games. Suffers from a small amount of design issues or low amount of other problems. So yeah guys, I, uh, my closing thoughts here is Grab the Bottle is pretty damn fun. I think this will be an excellent game for a lot of people. It might still be a little bit difficult for other people. Um, but overall, I think it's a great, great game, and it's for $6.99. You can't really go too wrong with there. I think uh, for Comedy Dimensions, their very first game here, this was an excellent game as well. So on the last page here, you'll see that I mentioned that there are links in the description below. Um, if you guys want to check out the Steam Store page for Grab the Bottle, if you want to check out the Comedy Dimension uh, website and their social media websites, you could also check them out down there in the YouTube description below. You could also check out my Blind Let's Play of uh, Grab the Bottle. I have the whole uh, playlist there for you guys if you wish to check that out. And you can also check out my YouTube channel. I believe I have a link down there as well. I guess as we're wrapping up this video again, I want to say congratulations to Coming in Dimensions. This was an excellent, excellent game. I really enjoyed it quite a bit. You know, it seemed most frustrating at times, uh, frustrated at times, which I was, but I eventually you know, beat those levels and got past it. It was really a lot of fun. Congratulations on your very first game uh, that you guys produced. It was a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing your other titles come out sometime here in the future. 
As I always say at the end of every single one of my videos, flip that bacon, see you next time, and goodbye. Big heart out to Comedy Dimensions. Pretty fun game.